I'm a fashion designer, but I, I'm also an official artist as well. So I think I'm quite a slasher. And I'm actually in a quite interesting space here in Hong Kong or in Scandinavia as well. When it comes, if you look at it from a traditional fashion industry perspective, I think. And um, I did my bachelor degrees here in PolyU in knitwear specialism. And I continue my study for my master degree in Oslo, Norway, where I double major in fine art and also fashion design as well, which is for woven design. So. I have my knowledge that I had from here at PolyU with all the knitwear uh, techniques and I sort of further my skills when I was in Oslo for my study. I think in Hong Kong, people have a really um, concrete mindset when it comes to fashion and then we, we sort of a hot pot for a lot of international big designer brands as well. So in a way, I think people are not as experimental as compared to people in Scandinavia, I think. Because for people in Scandinavia, when it comes to fashion, of course, you still have, you know, you have the traditional big label as well, like at least studios, and also you have um, fast fashion like H&M and cost and stuff. But I think for a lot of people, when it comes to a consumer level, they tend to be more experimental as they don't really have a concrete image of what fashion is supposed to be like. So for me, I think this is actually quite an obvious difference for me. When I live between Hong Kong and Scandinavia while working in the fashion and also in the art scene as well. I sort of put two disciplines when it comes to my work. So I have the fashion part and I have my artistic part as well. And for a lot of time, you know, for a designer, when they have to work, they sort of look out for inspirations. You know, they turn to different artists, sculptor, or even architect for their work to draw inspiration. And then they use those inspiration for the fashion work. And for me, I sort of develop and build my own first-hand inspiration. So, Usually when I have, um, for my own personal project, I would build a series of collective work, of artistic work. So um, I work with metal installation, I work with visual arts, I work with um, animations, and sometimes I work with theatre people and also dancers as well, to create my own inspirations. I think first things first, I tend to stay away from fashion. <laughs> For, for myself because I think sometimes it's quite easy for you to sort of dwell in this little bubble of yours that you know if you when you work with fashion already and if you still you know off work you you still continue in dwelling yourself in this whole fashion industry for me I don't think it's that quite healthy so usually for me I would you know just go to galleries um, I look into things that might not seem to be fashion related on the surface and uh, I'm really into YouTube as well. So there's a lot of time I would go on YouTube and you know look it up for like um, sci scientific experiment for, for kids. Then you see a lot of different you know interesting experiments that they do at school or the, what kids are doing with the, uh, for, the, for the leisure times nowadays and I pick up you know different techniques that might not seem to be related for clothing production, for example. Um, I think, of course, I want, you know, you have social medias and all that, and you have the technologies as well. And I think students nowadays, they really know how to, you know, take full advantage of it. And, uh, but at the same time, I think it's very important for them to pay homage to the traditional craftsmanship. You have like good knowledge when it comes to the traditional foundation, when it comes to garment making, um, craftsmanship like beading and all that. And also, you know, um, pay attention to textiles work as well. Like you don't just buy a fabric straight from a shop. You have to know how do you produce it if you can do anything from scratch on your own. And, and then you incorporate new ideas back into the old work and I think this is actually a very important part for me.